what's up everyone welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing if this is your first time on this channel you're very much welcome my name is Emmanuel I am a Cameroonian based in Douala Cameroon in today's video I'll be telling you guys five habits that significantly improved my life the thing is for a very long time I've really been struggling with a lot of things overweight lack of sleep procrastination I used to be the king of procrastination and all those things used to make my life like very stagnant I wasn't the happiest person I, was ju I just felt like I wasn't enough so it was it was really a struggle and as I told you guys like in my previous video I started looking for motivation and I stumbled on the self-help industry and I started consuming a lot of motivational videos. I was watching motivational videos from morning to night. Like I was just all over the place. I would watch motivational videos and instead for me to take action, I would explain it to people by so doing when like for me explaining it i felt like oh i'm doing it in my mind inside my head when i watch a video and i'll tell you do this do this i'll go and say to people like you know that if you do this do this do this your life is going to change instead for me to take action i'll instead be saying it so for a very long time i've really been struggling with a lot of things i mean everybody has their own thing that when they started incorporating in their lives it improved their life for me i have sat down and i've thought of it like these things really mean a lot to me these things have really improved my life and i thought oh you know what why don't you come on the internet and share it you might help just one person and if just one person is motivated by this video my job is done do you understand like if you go on the internet you're going to see a lot of videos people will be telling you meditation like meditate like me meditate i don't know how to meditate there are videos on on youtube where people say how cold shower changed my life i'm like what where i come from cold shower is the order of the day most houses in Cameroon don't come with the bathroom don't come with hot water so if you want to use hot water you have to boil it somewhere else and take it to the bathroom do you understand so in Cameroon cold shower is like our normal day-to-day -day life like people are just saying different things waking up early at 4 a.m. and so on and so forth I mean I tried all those things honestly it wasn't my cup of tea but as I started watching and listening to motivational video and started reading it really improves my life so the first habit that I incorporated in my life that greatly improved my life was journaling the thing is initially when i would visit my friends or go somewhere or be watching videos on the internet and people will be saying how they journal they write down things they write down their thoughts i was like what are you saying like what's your brain meant for like god gave you a brain for you to retain all these things why do you have to be writing things down it made no sense to me i mean i didn't really understand why people were journaling but trust me when I started doing it at the beginning of this year, I saw a big difference in my life in terms of focus and organization. Do you understand? Like writing down your thoughts, writing down your to-do list, writing down the things you're actually grateful for, writing down your little wins can go a long way just to motivate you to feel like, okay, your life is in order. Do you understand? So when I started journaling, I went to the market I got myself a journal and I started writing down a lot of things in the night before I sleep most times like it's not as if I do it like every day but it's like my daily practice maybe every other day do you understand so when I write down these things like my to-do list for the next day when I wake up in the morning I wake up with this sense of discipline like I have tasks to achieve so I just get up and I get to it immediately so one thing that really helped me to be disciplined and focused and on a grand scale of things it improves my life was journaling so i highly encourage you to wake up from that chair go to the market get yourself a really good journal and start writing down things when you write down things you easily remember them do you understand i know some people have like good retentive memory i'm not some people <laughs> do you understand so i literally have to write down things for me to remember them and if i forget i can always come back and like check i mean we are not computers we get you tend to forget sometimes and when you write down things you get to remember so that's one thing that i did that greatly improved my life and i highly encourage you to do the same thing the second habit that i incorporated in my life that significantly improved my life was working out for a very long time i've been very lazy just to wake up 
and even exercise in my room was a problem true story i'm not lying do you understand like as a result it i started gaining so much weight like i would know well that you, you're gaining so much weight you, you're doing this i will keep procrastinating like okay next month from the first of this month i'm starting okay from monday i'm starting like i kept doing that and i never took action but trust me when i got to the point where i woke up one day and i started going to the gym trust me my life significantly improved like i feel good each time i go to the gym i work out i feel really good and the thing is you don't have to go to the gym i talk about exercising and taking care of yourself does not necessarily mean you need to go to the gym like there are some people who live in communities where there are no gyms or like you can work out from home you can go on youtube there are a lot of videos on youtube on how to work out without equipment how to do this how to lose this how to like there are so many videos just go on youtube watch a few and just exercise make it a habit for you to exercise every day i mean personally it's not as if i go to the gym every day but now at least in seven days i can go to the gym like four times and i feel really good when you go to the gym you come back you feel really good in your skin do you understand and it makes you you sleep well at night when i say exercise it's not as if you go to the gym you exercise and then you come and start eating junk foods that's what i'm saying don't eat junk food eat healthy food <laughs> by healthy i'm not saying that you're going to torture yourself and start eating grass and all these things no you can see it eat healthy food and good food do you understand healthy does not mean bad food a lot of people when they say healthy food they they just think like oh it's torture i cannot be eating food without seasoning i cannot be eating this no everything in good proportion don't exaggerate but you can eat whatever you want but in like good proportion do you understand take care of yourself go to the spa take care of your skin all those things will significantly help you to improve your life those are the things that when i started doing when i started working now when i started going to the gym i felt good it boosted my confidence I felt like I had clarity. I feel good in my spirit. Every morning when I wake up from bed, I feel really good. So working out is something that really changed my life. And I'm very glad I woke up and took action. So you should wake up from that couch, go to the gym, work out, start pressing, like do something. Don't just sit there. Do you understand? Like I encourage you to start exercising today and it's going to significantly improve your life. The third habit that I incorporated in my life that significantly helped me was reading more let me tell you guys something about reading where i come from in my country reading is not a culture do you understand most times when we go to school we just read because we want to pass exams i was reading because i had exams and i want i wanted to pass because if i don't pass i'm finished you'll kill me in the house do you understand so most times we'll be reading like these superficial things that they teach in school nowadays all this curriculum that is not having weights do you understand those are the things we used to read i'm not talking about reading your geography notes on the number of lakes in your country or how many parts the butterfly has i'm not talking about that kind of reading i'm talking about improvement reading business things that can improve your life do you understand like when i started reading it was really difficult reading is not my thing but when i started my first youtube channel Displore, i came in contact with a lot of amazing people and all those people were telling me read i mean when i when i go out and i'll meet my friends they'll be talking about this book this book i'll just sit there like ah, what are these people talking about book 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 and because i wanted to level up i wanted to be able to say something when they're having conversations i needed to start reading guys and I'm very grateful that I started reading. I've read quite a lot of books, some audio versions, some I'll just read like a soft copy. Like you see, there are a lot of books here. So I started reading and I want to I want to give a big shout out to one of my friends, Kamga. Kamga Chasa is the person that encouraged me to start reading. So each time I'm having a conversation with Kamga, each time I tell him, see, I'm having this problem, the next thing like read this book, read this book, read this book, it's going to change your it's going to change your perspective, it's going to like it's going to solve your problem. Kamga, hello, what is it? I'm hungry. You're hungry. Read this book, read this book. <laughs> It was funny like he has a book for everything i'm sure he has read like ten thousand books so he highly encouraged me to start reading and trust me i'm so grateful because when i started reading guys there is a lot hidden in these papers like the things that are hidden here you see all your motivational speakers this is where they get their knowledge from and sometimes when they're talking to you you're looking at them like oh my god this guy is so intelligent books my friend 
if you start reading trust me you're going your life you're going to see like your perspective about life your your notion like things are going to change for you do you understand i know it's not something like reading is not something that you can just wake up and start reading like start small just be motivated like just start with a chapter okay today i'm just going to like for example this book how to win friends and influence people just say okay you know what i'm going to read just the ch first chapter of this book today or maybe the first five pages like start small you don't have to go all in and just take this book and want to finish it in 24 hours you are not probably going to understand what you're reading so it's a gradual process and for those that don't like reading like hard copies there are audio versions there's every book out there has an audio version there is a soft copy initially i used to enjoy reading soft copy because i felt like i read more like i read like more when i used to um, use this like the soft copy because i felt like i was reading a blog post and article i like reading blog posts and articles so it makes me like i'll just keep going and going if i know it bam i'll finish one book do you understand so reading is something that greatly improves my life i learned a lot from reading books you can start small let me give you a small secret initially it was very difficult for me to just start reading what i did was when they tell me a book oh for example the power of positive thinking you know what i'll do i'll go on youtube and i'll type power of positive thinking review so i want to know what people are saying about the book if it's worth my time or not like sometimes i'll go some people will just summarize the book and i feel like okay i don't need to read this book again. I've, I've gotten the summary of the book sometimes some people they'll just be giving you like little nuggets of wisdom and it will ginger you to go and read that particular book so you can start from there like reading reviews like watching reviews and probably reading reviews of books it might encourage you to start reading a lot and trust me your life is going to change all right so the fourth habit that i incorporated in my life that took my life from year to year was sleeping early like sleeping more and sleeping early do you understand i know when it comes to sleep a lot of people they don't see the importance of sleeping some people will say you can't be sleeping these hours a day you can't be sleeping all these motivational speakers they'll be saying you don't have to sleep sleep my friend you have to sleep sleeping is very important if you have eight hours of sleep nine hours of sleep every day trust me you are going to feel good in your spirit you're going to feel good you're going to have clarity you're going to be motivated to do things think of the days where you slept at 3 a.m and woke up at 6. can you tell me how your day was horrible right that's what i'm talking about like if you don't get enough sleep it's going to affect your life in the long run your skin is not going to be fresh it's not going to be popping do you understand so you need enough sleep i know with the with the, the social media age we are constantly on our phones when we come back from work at night everybody they take their phone to the bedroom and they're on their phones till 3 a.m 4 a.m sometimes even 5 a.m and after that you can't really sleep because the blue lights in your face is like it's a mess do you understand like you don't have to torture yourself in that fashion like just keep your phone at 10 p.m at most 11 p.m and sleep up to seven, depending on your job, sleep up to 6 a.m. Do you understand? It's very important. I know people will be like, oh, sleep, sleep, who, who sleep help? Who sleep help? Sleep help everybody. Like, if you sleep well, you're going to function properly the next day. So that is one habit that I incorporated in my life. Sometimes I still struggle. Do you understand? It's not as if I'm eight hours sleep guru. No, I'm not. Sometimes I still have like five hours of sleep. Sometimes just depending on my program. But I try my best as much as possible to have quality sleep every day so start sleeping early and you're going to testify you will come back and testify <laughs> last but not the least focusing on my business when i say focusing on my business i mean my business like not just my like my business where i make money but my space my life you understand i don't try to focus so much on what other people are doing like try to compare myself with people like just focusing on my like facing my front do you understand like i'm focusing on my lane and it's greatly improving my life because it removes the noise the external noise and i just like and it gives me the sense of focus and purpose waking up every day and working on my purpose it just gives me the sense of fulfillment it gives me the sense of discipline don't come and ask me what my purpose is if you want to know what my purpose is go to the comment section click on my patreon go to my patreon and support me on my patreon i'll be posting exclusive videos like deep exclusive video about my life like my my business my personal business so if you want to know what 
I do behind the scenes, how I do my setup, like everything that goes into making these videos. Support me on Patreon and I'm going to show you everything there. So, I mean, just mind your business. Focus on your business. Focus where you make the money. Be in your space. Do you understand? Like when I started minding my business and not thinking what people are doing out there or how my friends are bowling, my life really changed. Because it just made me feel good. I don't see the need to feel bad because my friend just bought a car and I don't have a car. Oh, my friend just got married and I'm as I'm single to stupid. <laughs> Do you understand? So it just it just changed a lot of things. So those are those are the five habits. So guys, I want to thank you guys so much. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. I'm just curious. I want to know. Like practice these things and come back and testify because the Lord is good. <laughs> right now I feel like a pastor. Come back and testify. Like let me know in the comment section that one habit that you incorporated in your life that significantly improved your life. I want to know. I want to know. Let's continue the conversation in the comments section. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I said, my name is Emmanuel. If this is your first time on the channel, please subscribe. It's begging that I'm begging. I'm on my knees. <laughs> please subscribe to the channel because a lot, I have a lot of awesome videos in store for you guys. I have a lot of videos. And this place is going to be an awesome place. It's going to be an amazing family. So please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. So that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. And you'll come and watch. Do you understand? Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.